what's up everybody it's nerp here and today is a different kind of video see face cam this is me um because this is more of like a commentary video not much it's not really focused on the matches that are going on in the background i decided to have a uh, face cam you can see my face and my reactions and stuff like that uh let me know in the comments if you want to see more of that stuff but yep this is me we got my computer we all right so, what I wanted to talk about was the uh, acquisition of Mojang by Microsoft. So, if you haven't been, if you've been living under a rock the past, like, two weeks, um, last week there was a rumor going around saying that uh, Microsoft bought Mojang, the Mojang the creator of Minecraft and Scrolls, for $2 billion dollars. And everybody was panicking. Uh, Minecraft players were in a frenzy, thinking that Microsoft would ruin the game. Blah 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 blah. Like they ruined Rare, another uh, uh, game design company. Um, and people were not happy. And the ever so tiny Scrolls community didn't seem too happy as well. Uh, people were panicking. And just I think it was Monday this week. Uh, Mojang announced on their website Mojang.com that it's official that the deal actually happened and it is for 2.5 billion dollars and now Mojang is under Microsoft so no more wondering if the deal happened is gonna happen or not it happened and now we have to uh, see what's going to come out of it so First of all, what's going on in the background of this video are four uh, matches I have in the test server. Um, two are versus uh, uh, Lars, and the other two are versus, I'm not sure, whatever match is going on in the background, the other two are against him. And I played a little sloppy these first couple of matches. A lot of misplays, but whatever. I actually use the four different decks I use are one mono deck from each faction and they are Blinky's decks uh, he just recently came out with a video on his channel where he showcases a bunch of decks he has ready for waypoints and I just use a couple of those um, so I'll try to link that in the description and he gives like an analysis you can get like a deck link too but so many people ask me for my thoughts on the whole subject of Microsoft and Minecraft and scrolls so here it is in this video um, so along with uh, on Monday, along with uh, announcing the uh, the acquisition of um, Mojang to Microsoft, Mojang also said that Notch, the founder of Mojang, creator of Minecraft, um, Jacob Porcer, uh, I think he was like one of like the founders of Scrolls. I'm not sure what else he did, but he's a pretty big big guy in the Mojang company and um, Carl Mena, I think he was like the executive, the guy in charge at the time. They're all leaving Mojang, so they're doing their own stuff, and I don't think they're part of Mojang at all anymore. Um, but the rest of the guys, it seems like they're staying. Like Jeb, lead Minecraft dev, he's still working on Minecraft, and as it stands, the Scrolls devs are still working on Scrolls, so that's pretty good. Um, first of all, with Minecraft, Minecraft, if you didn't know, is my second favorite game behind Scrolls. Um, before, I, before I got Scrolls, I played Minecraft a lot, um, and I still play uh, kind of frequently, but not nearly as much as I play Scrolls. And yeah, so that's kind of all I have to say about Minecraft. I'm not too worried about Minecraft because it has a huge community backing it. Like Microsoft would have to really screw up to screw up Minecraft because. Like, so many people back it up, and, um, the only thing I'd be worried about Minecraft is, uh, the modding community. I think the modding community might die out because I don't think Microsoft wants, um, third parties to, like, make mods for their game. But, anyways, I, I, I've never been a real fan of mods anyways in Minecraft. I like the vanilla. But, enough of that. Scrolls. So, when the news came out, everybody was going nuts. Like, Top po the top comment on Reddit was like, I guess this is it for scrolls, and then they're all everybody was liking it. Every all these people were agreeing. 
Um, it seems like 95% of the, uh, 90%, uh, 75% of Scrollgers were on the, um, had the thought that Scrolls is going to be either canceled by Microsoft or it's just going to let die and stop development by Microsoft um, because frankly it's obvious that Microsoft bought Mojang for the Minecraft brand uh, the game with like 50 million players not Scrolls with the like 100 players online at a time but the thing is I think people are really overreacting because there's not really, I don't see much of a reason for Microsoft to cancel scrolls or like, because having a couple guys working on scrolls like it is right now, I don't think is a huge problem for Microsoft. It's not a huge project they have to oversee. I don't believe that they would, um, they just, they just bought Mojang for $2.5 billion. I don't think um, they would just they would just cut the Mojang's second most valuable asset. Uh, obviously, it's nothing compared to Minecraft, but it's a... I hope, hopefully they see the promise in Scrolls and the potential, because I think it, it has the depth as a game to compete with Hearthstone. Um, maybe Microsoft will make it go free-to-play, and it could be like that, or maybe they just pump some big Microsoft money into it and we get proper advertising and marketing. Remember, before all this news came out, um, uh, uh, the Mojang said that scrolls will be getting released at the end of the fall. So they, ever since Monday, they have not like said anything about that. Like they haven't said, yep, it's still getting released then or no, like that plan is now that plan is now gone they haven't said anything so i assume it's still planning on being released then so everybody's saying like that circles development has like already stopped um it hasn't it seems like because also uh waypoints has been um announced it's coming out this coming tuesday so expect like a video videos for me on that and um so yeah more on uh scrolls so Everybody was going crazy, and another reason why I think that people are overreacting is that Microsoft is not only like there for the big, like the big money games. Um, they obviously wanted Minecraft, but like for Xbox Live Arcade, there's like so many tiny games on there, and Scrolls would just fit right in. Uh, and Scrolls has like. Scrolls has the, I mean, I know like they don't want to tie Scrolls and Minecraft together because it's such like completely different games, but if they really had to, they could just market Scrolls as a game made by the developers of Minecraft, and that's that's actually why it's a big reason why it got uh, the sales initially in its first launch um, last June, not like last, the year before June, um, but then just like died out. So they have that going for them. They're made by the same makers of Minecraft, the best-selling PC game in history. Um, but like a lot, another question I've asked been asked a bunch of times is if people no people what people ask what people tell me is like since Scrolls is uh, is gonna get canceled by Microsoft, what are you going to do? First of all. I'm not going to believe Scrolls is uh, going to get cancelled until Mojang or Microsoft explicitly says Scrolls is cancelled or we are stopping development for Scrolls. Until then, I'm going to assume that it's going to continue. I am going to assume that um, they're going to market it soon because that's what they said. And hopefully we get a great game with a sustainable player base and it's going to be awesome. But if, if it does get cancelled, which I understand is a possibility, because it frankly, it frankly isn't um, probably isn't making much money right now, so uh, Microsoft might just want to just cut it and not really care, which yeah, like I said, uh, could happen. And if that does happen, um, I'd be very upset because I have played a ton of scrolls in the past year, and it would feel like I almost wasted a lot of my time. But it was a ton of fun. Um, I've I want to quickly check. Wait, so if I played, I played 
three uh, three thousand five hundred matches in the past year. Well, a little more than a year, like a year and two months. That's what he's like. I got scrolls June two thousand thirteen. Uh, calculator. All right. So let's see. Three thousand five hundred. Let's just say um, it's been four hundred twenty days since. Actually, no, four hundred days since I got it. So divided by four hundred. Eight points. It's like nine matches a day for the past like year, and um, nine matches a day, and then like you can multiply that by like 10, 15 minutes a match. I mean that's being generous. Some scroll matches take a long time. I'll say twelve minutes a match, and then you have like we have hours per day. I play scrolls. I know some days like I just play like throughout the whole day, and then another day I won't play at all. But that's a lot of one game. Like this past year, I have played scrolls religiously and almost nothing else. The next closest game I played uh, was Minecraft, but like every day it's scrolls, scrolls, scrolls. When I get home from school, I check the scrolls subreddit, I check scrolls uh, IRC, I go to my YouTube channel, check scrolls, check scrolls, log into scrolls. Um, it's really been all I've been doing the past year. Uh, that and just like school. So if scroll stopped, I wouldn't know what to do. Um, if if they if they say that they're going to stop, if if Microsoft says they're going to stop the development of scrolls, and they don't and they didn't they don't, like if they don't say, I doubt they're going to cancel it because I think if they they might just just stop. They might just stop updates, and then the game will just die out by itself. If they say that they're going to stop updating, I'll probably stop playing because I don't feel like I would want to um, play a game that has no future. So that would be a reason for me to leave the game. Um, people ask me about my YouTube channel, what would happen? I would probably just shut it down, stop uploading on it. I wouldn't delete it, but I'd stop uploading on it because... Some people say, oh, are you going to switch to Hearthstone if Scrolls dies and stuff like that? No, I've tried Hearthstone. It's a good game, but I don't like it as much as Scrolls. And anyways, it's probably good for me to cut back on how much time I play video games and upload videos because I have to go to college in a couple of years. And or actually, like, in a year. And, um, no, like a couple of years. And I have to focus on my studies. But if Scrolls does not die, which I don't think it will, I will continue to do this and it will be awesome. Um, I will. I'm gonna continue doing all these videos uh, until. until Microsoft or Mojang says that. Uh, says Scrolls is going to be stopped. Um, I know I'm repeating myself here, but that's really all I have to say. Uh, Hmm. But hopefully there is there isn't that time and scrolls development could go on as it has as it has been the past like couple of months where not many people are playing but the game is slowly being updated with a few guys on the dev team and it's been a little bit quiet here uh, now and again but it's been coming along I could just stay like that which I I actually think is the least likely scenario. Um, honestly, I do believe that if Microsoft does not cut scrolls, um, they will fund it more and try to get more people working on it and maybe treat it as something to defeat Hearthstone and compete with it. That would be the best case scenario if Microsoft sees scrolls potential and completely, like, uh, gets behind it and tries to make it, like, an amazing game. So, everybody was panicking when this news came out, and I was a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried. I still am a little bit worried. I'm actually more than a little bit worried, because uh, I love Scrolls so much, and I don't want it to go away. But Microsoft buying Mojang could be, it's quite possible that it's the very best thing to ever happen to Scrolls, and maybe Scrolls will become the best game with Microsoft. So that's a thing. Um... Is there anything else I want to say? I don't think so. And yeah, did you see that? Did you see that top play? 
top play uh, at the end of this last match. <laughs> that is, like, amazing. I'm probably going to have that in the top plays of the week on Friday. Um, so, if you don't, if you didn't check, on scrolls.com is waypoints, like, roadmap and stuff. Go check that out if you want to see a little bit of the near future of scrolls. Ladder's getting reset, and top 10 on the ladder are getting exclusive avatar heads, and seasons are being introduced to ranked. So that's another, like, little hint that scrolls development is probably not stopping because they're like planning for the future and stuff like that it sounds like unless the devs don't know anything either which would kind of be a little little scary for them too they don't know what they're supposed to be doing now but that's what i think um i was going to try to get my second account into the top 10 but then uh I guess that would be kind of mean to whoever I knock out in the top 10. So I think one account in there will be sufficient. And that'll be it. So from now until Tuesday of Waypoints, expect top plays of the week on Friday. Uh, probably a Waypoints rundown video, Waypoints over video, kind of like I did for Rebellion. After Waypoints come out, I'll probably have a huge spending spree video where I buy like 100 Explorers packs and a whole ton of crap. And... Yeah, and I'll, and I'll try to get back to the top of the ladder um, once the ladder reset happens. That'll be it for me today. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. And this has been NERP. So let's cross our fingers for scrolls and let it become the best game ever. See you next time, scrollgers.